Hello and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be going and I have some lime seeds here and we're going to be trying to grow them in hydroponics. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been kind of interested in this video uh, since I started this channel. So what I did is a couple weeks ago, I don't know if you can see those too well or not, but I took a couple seeds from key limes and I planted them in this bag. Um, this is basically the plastic bag method. You pretty much take a little bit of potting soil, put it in a bag, put a little water in it just to make it slightly damp. You don't want it like super wet. And then you set it in a sunny windowsill or under a grow light or a heat mat or something like that. And you wait. So that was probably two or three weeks ago. And we finally have a couple seedlings. So what we're going to do, we have two of them that have sprouted up so far. So we're going to take the bigger one here. That smaller one I'll probably grow in like a pot, just like a regular traditional way too. But anyways, you guys can see that right there. I like this method too, because all the soil is super loose because you're not really like watering it every day. So it was super easy to take this root out. Um, it wasn't compact at all. So if you guys can see that, just a little guy. So I'm gonna put that to the side. And what I have here is just a solution of about 50% hydrogen peroxide and 50% water. Um, that's that's 3% hydrogen peroxide, by the way, um, not, not pure hydrogen peroxide. And so I'm just gonna pretty much soak it in there real quick. Uh, I'm gonna use this to get off all the dirt from its roots, as well as that hydrogen peroxide. Um, since it's so weak, it's not gonna harm the seedling, but it'll kill any bacteria and stuff like that that could have been growing on it which of course is not good for the plant. So we've got all that soil and everything washed off and our roots are looking really nice and healthy there. So we're gonna set him down real quick. And then we've got our mason jar. Now, if you guys watched my video on the lemon tree that I'm trying to save, um, I kind of explained why I use these amber ones, which is pretty much because it blocks uh, the majority of UV light, so it'll help to stop algae growth a little bit. So what we're going to do is I've got my net pot and my clay beads or whatever you call them. And these have been soaking in water for a little bit just to make them nice and hydrated. And so we're just going to kind of scoop those out. We're not going to fill it all the way up because we have to be able to fit my lime tree in there. But we got a little bit in there. We're going to pop that in. And then we're going to take our nutrients, which I have pre-mixed here. Um, I actually mixed these a couple days ago when I put out that lemon tree video. Um, and normally they say don't use nutrients that have been mixed ahead of time because they do slowly lose their potency. But since these are, what, like four or five days old now, I'm going to use them because they're not going to be that bad. So we're going to fill this up and we're actually going to fill it just to the bottom of the net cup because you want it making contact just a little bit with it so that that water can get absorbed through those clay beads and hydrate our roots. A little more. Where are we at? Mm. I'm going to do just a little bit more in there. That looks about perfect. All right, so now we're gonna take our tree and I'm actually gonna put a couple more of these beads in there. Okay. And then we'll situate him right in the middle there. Um, let's see, how am I gonna do this? Okay, I'm just going to kind of hold them up and then place the rest of these clay beads around them. Maybe. I probably could have waited another day or two to do this because his roots are a little small still. So it's a little bit hard to get them propped up, but that's okay. It'll, we'll make it work, right? Oh. Okay. Oh my gosh, yeah, I definitely should have waited an extra day or so just so we can grow those roots out a little bit longer, but oh well. 
live and learn. Okay, that's starting to look a little better there. And then we'll just take the rest of these and fill in around it. Yeah, it looks pretty cute. My ultimate goal with this is to eventually use this tree for bonsai. If, of course, it survives, because most people don't grow citrus trees in hydroponics, because citrus trees tend not to like their roots staying really wet. Um, they like uh, usually a drier soil. So this is going to be kind of an interesting experiment, because not really many people have, um, at least from what I've seen, I haven't found anybody who's actually grown a citrus tree all the way to get it to fruit. So, yeah, that looks really good, I think. Um, so we're going to move him to a sunny windowsill and yeah I'm gonna be posting these videos probably weekly or so and I don't know I guess my goal is to grow him obviously hope he survives uh, like I said not many people have done this with citrus trees because I guess people are kind of afraid that they're not gonna live which honestly is a possibility but that's why we're trying it so I'll be posting videos of this guy every so often, either until it dies, which hopefully we're going to pray that that doesn't happen, um, or until we can bear some fruit from it, which that's the goal. So thank you guys all so much for watching. If you guys want to see more, please subscribe, like, and maybe even comment. I'll see you next time.